So today, after the Christmas break, the second degree murder trial of James Fursillo resumed, and this is the time when the lawyers make their closing arguments. And today, for the first of two days, we heard from defense lawyer Peter Brody. And I have to tell you, uh, my overwhelming reaction after listening to this and knowing that there are, you know, almost three more days to come is relief that I'm not on that jury. This is a very complicated case um, with two charges. Uh, the, the Toronto police officer is charged with uh, second degree murder and attempted murder in the streetcar shooting death of Sami Atim. Um, there are what are called uh, lesser included offenses in both of those uh, charges. The first charge, murder, relates to the first three shots for Silo fired. The second charge, attempted murder, relate to the, relates to the second volley of shots. Uh, there were six of those. In total, Sami Atim, who was 19 at the time of his death, took eight bullets. And I guess at its core, what it has to do with uh, is the discretion uh, that police have to use lethal force if they have a reasonable belief that their lives or the lives of someone else are in danger. And so though Mr. Brady, for instance, today said the Crown Attorney is, you know, asking the jurors to conduct a microanalysis of the officer's actions, to look at it frame by frame, second by second, slowed down. In essence, he's doing that too. He just puts a different sort of spin on it, as it were. And it's a, it's a pretty serious, I mean, murder is always a serious charge. When it's a police officer who is working, who is firing while on duty, it's a whole different ball game. And I, uh, that's why I'm just shudderingly grateful, frankly, that I don't have to make the decision in this case. Uh, hooray for that jury and uh, good luck to them.